Hey guys, it's Dan at Crazy Bad Cuber, and in today's video, I'm going to show you my newest big toy. This is uh, an arcade machine. It's a tabletop one. Um, it's got tons of games in it. We're going to go through the entire thing, kind of show you how it works, all that stuff. Some of my favorite games. Uh, this comes from the UK from tinyarcademachines.com. Uh, leave a link at the top of the description, and you can check them out if you want. Um, yeah, so let's get at this. All right, guys, so this is the Tiny Arcade Machine. Um, I was so stoked when I got this. It literally has anything that I can think of. Uh, I have the 114 in one model, which means 114 different systems in here. I'm cycling through them using the hyperspin menu right now. Uh, I did count them to make sure there was 114 just out of curiosity, and sure enough, there was. Uh, but one thing I did notice is that some of them aren't systems. Like here we have Nintendo Classics. So I can go in here. Turn the sound up a bit. So this is like classic ones for Nintendo, you know, but are, there's already a uh, an, an NES, you know, section in here. So this is just like the best of. So that's not really a new system. Um, same with Sega Classics, right? There's Midway Classics, so games mid made by Midway. But these are already in other systems that are on here as well. So this is sort of like a quick access to these kind of things. Um, which I actually really appreciate. So it's not technically 114 different systems, like Street Fighter 4. Um, this isn't an entire system, it's a game. Ultra Street Fighter 4, so that's one, this is two. These only have one things in it. Whereas if I go to Capcom Classics and hit, hit the button, I can go in and start cycling through all of them, like the old school 1941, 42, things like that. Um, but what I got this for was for the MAME. So it's in here, which is multiple arcade machine emulator. And, um, you know, you can literally, like, if I go to A and then hold down, I will be holding down for quite a while before it goes to B. Um, we were still, still in A's, still in A's. You know, we're still in A. I mean, <laughs> there's so many games. Pretty much every arcade machine I've ever wanted is in here, aside from one, which is like some crazy modded Street Fighter um, called the Rainbow Edition. But Gabriel, who builds these in the UK, um, he told me, just send him the ROM and he'll see what he can do and maybe walk me through installing it. Uh, but I haven't gotten around to that. But anyways, uh, you hit this button here. And it brings you, you can either add the favorite game or you can view favorites. So some of my favorites, Killer Instinct. This is the actual arcade one too. There's uh, certain things you can do in this. Plus graphics are way better than the Super Nintendo one. Killer Instinct 2. Original Mario Brothers. Um, you know, Metal Slugs. Uh, every Metal Slug is in here. <laughs> and uh, NBA Jam. Like all of these are actual arcade stuff. Um... Street Fighter 2, Champion Edition, Hyper Fighting, um, this is a Hyper Fighting one, the original Street Fighter 2. I'm going to go into here so you can kind of see how this works. It'll load up and everything, and uh, and just like an arcade machine, it, you know, it does all this. And then it says Insert Coin, just like an arcade machine. So then you hold Start, and you hit this button, start adding coins. You can go in. I like to choose Guile because I know glitches with him um, and it's really fun. So it's sort of like he simulates a throw but doesn't do anything. Oh, come on. Like that. That's a, a glitch. He threw the air and she fell down. That's like a super fun game for me. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, I have lots of Street Fighters because I am a huge Street Fighter fan. This one I just added, uh, you actually saw it in my last video when I was showing this a little tiny bit. I remember this game. I didn't remember what it was called. Old School Superman, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, arcade style Tetris. The first Tetris, you know, this was really cool. The Simpsons game. Uh, I have the Mortal Kombat. This was a game me and my brother used to play in the arcade. Like, uh, this was one game that we could actually bond over when we were younger in the arcades. It was pretty cool. Arkanoid. This is one that my dad loved, and I used to just sit there and watch him play this. He was pro at it. Um, 
Bobble Bobble Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, the actual arcade, Double Dragon, Off-Road. This one was a fun one. I love this game too. And right back to Killer Instinct. So, by, I mean, any arcade machine you can think of is in MAME. So I will just go through some of these other ones too. We're going into the classics here, Street Fighters. Um, see again, right? It's all these classics, right? So they're not really new systems, but... Shotgun game. So if I was to go and get a light gun, I would be able to play, you know, a lot of these uh, type of games. You go in and you can play all of them. Uh, so... I mean, a lot of these systems I've never even heard of before, you know, and I grew up playing systems, so I don't know. Um, yeah, like Hector, what is that? Look at this. This looks like it's from like the 80s. Look at the graphics. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, it's got a lot of PC games in there as well. I can hook up a keyboard and mouse to this thing and also a USB Xbox controllers so I can play, you know, PlayStation 1, 2, stuff like that. Popcat games. So we have PopCap games that are, you know, the things that you would find on like a, an iPhone and, you know, Bejeweled and things like that, right? So it's got all of those. Uh, it's like a whole thing on Pac-Man. Like this is a crazy Pac-Man. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, some other things. Like I've never heard of this uh, system. GX4000. And then we got classic Ataris, you know, pretty much every Atari, Jaguar, 64-bit. That was a, like a huge revolutionary one. Um, you know, Wonder Swan, I've never heard of that either. And it's like this little handheld thing. And then like the color version of it and uh, ColectoVision. I've heard of ColectoVision before. Um, this is a CD, CD one. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Uh, that was a game that I used to play in the arcade, Dragon's Lair. It's like this role-playing thing and you can like move. Uh, let's go to Dragon's Lair 2 and check it out. So, you start off with a game, it's like a cartoon, and it'll say left, you know, so it flashes and you have to put that, put, go that way. So sword is the button. Oh, uh, and then if you miss it, well, you get hit and you have to start again. But anyways, super fun kind of game. There's a few different ones in here like that, but these are all made by um, Daphne. Let's get out of here. So again, lots of systems I've never heard of. Lots of retro things. Like, this is seriously old. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go to some cool stuff. Like, uh, there's Future Pinball, which is a pretty cool pinball. Um... And it kind of gives you a little bit of a thing. I wish it was flipped this way so I could see it more, but lots of cool ones. You know, there's Shrek Pinball, Simpsons Pinball. Um, but the graphics on here are pretty cool. But the better one, in my opinion, is Pinball FX. And this one is absolutely amazing. So we go through here. Whoop, I gotta get in there first. We go through here and you can pick from tons of pinballs and there's flippers on the sides of the machine so you can do that. Um, a really good one is uh, Plants vs. Zombies right here. So we'll just open this up. Like look at how cool this looks. You know, so down here there's a corn cob. You push this and away goes your ball. And you get flippers and you can play all sorts of pinball. Just play this a little bit. Because this thing has HDMI out as well, so I can actually uh, hook it up to my television instead of using the screen. But that kind of defeats the purpose of having this. Um, but with HDMI out, HDMI out, I can actually hook up a Legato capture card and make gaming videos if I want. And I have 46,000 games to play with and, and try out and stuff. But you can see... Like the quality of this is amazing. Like it's it's you push it and it goes. You know there's it's not a problem. Um, I've played lots of these pinballs. I could sit here and play this for a while. Um, anyway, so that is pinball. All right, guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is I uh, asked you guys on Facebook um, 
name some games and some systems and see if it's on there. So the first one is uh, Super Mario Galaxy for Wii. So let's go to Nintendo Wii, wherever it is. I have 114 to go. <laughs> Here we go. Wii, Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario. Mario. Super Mario Galaxy. So we do have Super Mario Galaxy. What else are we looking for here? All the Pokemons for Game Boy Advance, eh? So let's go to Game Boy Advance and look for Pokemon. So you hold right and you can go to letters. So let's go to P for Pokemon and see if they're here. I'll look at them all. Okay, so we have Emerald version, Fire Red version, Leaf Green, and I love the layout, like Game Boy Advance, it's got a Game Boy Advance in the background, it's got a picture of this and the cartridge. Uh, so we've got Ruby version, Sapphire version, Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team. Uh, yeah, so I think that that answers that <laughs> right away. Um, so let's see what else you guys are asking for. Super Mario Sunshine for GameCube. Let's go to GameCube. Go to S. Let's go to T and Backtrack. Super Mario Melee. No, that's not what we're looking for. Super Mario Sunshine, right there. So it's got that. <laughs> uh, somebody wants to know about Tetris, um, the arcade version. I already showed that. Actually, uh, I think I did. Yeah, so let's... Just go there and make sure. This is sort of like a challenge. Let's see what's here and what's not, right? So go to my favorite games and Tetris right here. Let's go in here and check it out. Uh, medium, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the sound is amazing. <laughs> Anyways, old school Tetris. I love it. What else are we looking for? Sonic the Hedgehog. I guarantee there's so many of them and everything. Uh, Metal Slugs and Cadillac and Dinosaurs. We already went through as well in here. Let's just take a look at the Metal Slugs. Uh, Metal Slug is a huge game. By far the best little, you know, <laughs> horizontal shooter game. There's Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and... Metal Slug 10. Uh, what else are we looking for here? Ra so, another one is called Riger. Somebody wants to know. Don wants to know. Riger. Used to play it all the time, 25 years ago. Let's look for Riger in the R's. Actually, it's closer to S, so let's go up. Look at it. There it is, right away. Right away. Riger. So, there's that one. <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles, of course, we have that on here, I can tell you already. Um, no one mentioned Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition or Quack Shot. What is Quack Shot? Do we have Quack? Q. Quack Shot. I don't know if it's an arcade, they didn't really specify, but I know that we have Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, because I have it in my favorites right there Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition we've also got Champion Edition Hyper Fighting um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 on Dreamcast let's see if we can find that I have had trouble finding Tony Hawk so this is gonna be a, a challenge here Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 so let's go to T's QRST, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Pro Skater 2, but no 3. Okay, so we don't have 3. We found something that we don't have, but it's got 1 and 2, which is uh, very, very good anyways. 
So now I'm in my favorite section, so I can show you some of the games that I like the most. Um, I'm going to show you Killer Instinct first. Uh, somebody, some of you may know this game, but uh, the arcade version seriously kicks butt. So let's pick uh, Fulgore. <laughs> I love this game. And some of the characters too, but that's Killer Instinct. It's a combo based game. Um, and you can like hit a button, it'll do like a bunch of combo, and then you have to do like a, another move, and then you can combo off that. Um, but that's Killer Instinct. Um, let me turn this down a bit. And we've got like Marvel, you know, superheroes and Street Fighter and all this stuff, so go in here and see what this one is. I love that every single Street Fighter, any fighting game I want, works. See, I didn't, I didn't mind the X-Men vs. Street Fighter games, but they're very all over the place, like jumping and stuff, and like, you can like jump way up here and do a fireball, and stay in the air, but it's very, it's very everywhere. And you can like, switch guys, now I'm Wolverine. Anyways, yeah, it's a very all over the place game. Then there's the Metal Slugs, of course. I like Mortal Kombat as well. I usually play uh, Mortal Kombat 10 with my friend that's still in Vancouver. I should go visit him soon. Um, Mortal Kombat 2, man. Like, <laughs> this one was really cool. I use Baraka only because me and Ray's are always talking about how Baraka should be in Mortal Kombat 10 because he's in the storyline, apparently. So. Obviously, graphics these days on video games are a little better. Oh, I didn't get the fatality off in time. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's other games I like playing too, like Puzzle Bobble. You guys have probably seen this one. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool game. You just match the bubbles. I mean, that round is very easy, but <laughs> they, they start getting a lot more difficult. You can bounce them off the walls. Oh. 
Anyway, I like I like that game as well. And they all work like flawlessly. I mean, it's such a, a good. A, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, and here's that Pang game. I showed you guys this in my previous video when I do my house tour. I was like, oh, and I saw it, and like so often, I'm just flicking through the games, and I'm like, oh, I remember that one from when I was a kid. Like this. This machine just brings me back to when I was a kid. I love it. So you have to shoot these spears up at the balloons and they split into smaller balloons and smaller balloons and smaller balloons. But you gotta try not to get hit by them. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys who are younger are looking at this and are being like, what are you, uh, what are you showing me? This looks like terrible graphics, but to me, it's awesome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons, yeah. Anyways, I could go on forever and ever, but I'm out of time, so I'm not. Anyways, guys, um, if you want to check one of these machines out, you can get it at tinyarcademachines.com. I'll leave a link at the top of the description. This is not a sponsored video. I've paid for this entire thing. Um, they have lots of even smaller little ones and like different size. And there's one model that has more games than this, but it's all like newer games. And I have Xbox and stuff already for that. So I bought it for retro stuff. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.